everyone, welcome to your workout. I thought it would be kind of fun to change it up and do a karate style workout. Now keep in mind that this is not affiliated with my karate dojo. I just do the moves for the fitness. Even though I've been training for many years, my technique is still a little bit off, but you know, we'll get the basics just for the fitness aspect. So, um, and I'm going to Japan next month. Thought I'd let that out there um, and uh, we'll have some pretty cool footage, I'm hoping, of the trip. So anyway, let's start with some lunge punches. We're gonna do some alternating lunge punch. Uh, so you're gonna come down, punch, and come back up and switch. Two, three and up, four and punch out there. Drive that punch, five, six, seven. Bring that fist back, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, and then you come back into your resting pose. Now we're gonna do a squatting double punch exercise. So um, in my karate um, style, it would be called Yung Kai Suki. So I'm breaking it into one part of that, which is the squatting with the, the arms out. So we're just doing it informal, nothing formal about this training, but get into your, um, to your little stance and we're gonna drop down into the squat with the punches going out. So I'm starting them here. Palms are facing up and hands are in a gripping, punching motion. And then the fists are gonna rotate palm down when you drop down into that squat. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, and then let's just come up, take the hands together and then flip them upside down for a stretch. We're gonna do some side kick exercises, not necessarily the kick itself, but more like a tree pose with a side kick. So um, you're coming up into your tree pose, a variation of a tree pose, and you're just gonna extend that leg out there for balance. And that's one, two, three, four. Try to balance, grip that mat, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then set that leg down. Really good. You'll feel that on the outsides of your hips. I have to keep adjusting my mat. So taking the other leg, and again, you're not necessarily in that tree pose, you're in a variation of it, ready to kick that foot out there. So coming out, extend for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then set your foot down. It takes a lot of balance. The balance is the biggest challenge because you're moving and balancing. Um, my eyes are watering all the time. Um, let's do some punches from a wide squatting position. So, of course, we can do some skandasana shifting. This is good for the hips and the quads and the glutes. And you can even tilt your pelvis so you're exaggerating pushing those psoas muscles. So you're just shifting a little bit. And then we'll go into our low stance and we're just gonna do some regular punches. You can bring the heels in a little bit closer together if it's more comfortable, but this is just to 
activate these muscles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. All the way to 100. 20. 30. 40. 50. Drop lower if you can. 60. 70. 80. 90. And 100. And bring it in. Shake it all out. Okay, next thing on the agenda, we're gonna serve the brownies. So a Pilates move, serving the brownies, but we're gonna incorporate a knife hand strike, a double knife hand strike, and then we'll do some singles. So you can be in a squatting position for this or pseudo squatting, you don't have to go too low. So we're gonna start with the swinging motion with the hands just to warm up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get a little bounce into it if you want. Nine, ten. Okay, now we're gonna throw in the double hands to strike. So you're getting your opponent at the neck or getting them like that somewhere. So serve the brownies first for one and then double strike. Two, strike. Three, strike. Four, strike. Five, strike. Six, strike. Seven, strike. Eight, strike. Nine, strike. 10, strike. Now let's take it and do some singles. So I'm gonna keep one hand here resting at the armpit area and come strike here, pull back, strike, strike. So you're just pulling the hand back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And shake it out. Okay. Now we're going to do a uh, double hand, I mean, a, yeah, a double hand punch. So the fists are going to be, this is the second part to this Yonkai Suki. So now we're just going to strike with our elbows. So again, you're going to come into this stance, this squatting stance, and push back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then we're going to drive our elbows back. So you're going to take one elbow and drive it back and then switch. So we're just going to have this little driving motion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, 10, and then let's do them both at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, okay, and you do have to have your hands kind of ready for this. So now we're gonna do a chair squat. So an Utkatasana chair squat with a little back kick action. So you're in your Utkatasana, and we're just gonna step back, kick it, and then switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Driving with that heel, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. That's uh, speedy style cardio. Oh my goodness. Good job. 
Let's do some hip circles from our standing position right here. So this is to get us ready for some roundhouse kicks. Uh, you will do rotate them inward and then rotate them outward. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, and then reverse it. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now for the big action cardio, we're gonna alternate the legs. So you're gonna swing that leg out for a roundhouse kick and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pow. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, okay, catch your breath. Let's do a wide, wide fold here, wide-legged forward fold and stretch. Calm the breath, calm the uh, heart down a little bit. And carefully come back up. All right, we're gonna do a double blocking cross, cross block action to the floor with a lunge. So we're gonna alternate. So you step forward with the left, down, come back up and switch, change your arms out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back up. All right, good. So now we're gonna do a leg lift balance, another balance exercise. Um, you're gonna swing the leg back, and then we'll alternate. So you're just gonna swing it up and then switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down to the floor. And then just rock your body left and right. You can ragdoll it, put your arms together and just shake up and down, left and right. Time. We're 14 minutes in. We have just enough time for some abs. So that'll cover us for our karate fitness and uh, some cardio. But if you have a ball or take the floor, let's just do 150 of these bad boys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, keep going. Twenty. Thirty. 
three. Forty. Fifty and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Down the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Twenty. Thirty. finished with the workout for today. Thank you for joining me for this little variation on karate and Pilates and a little bit of yoga blended. Uh, have a great day. Bye.